Good morning, bright and early, 6.45 a.m. Y'all, this is my time to shine. I love the mornings. Alyssa is on her way. We are heading over to Kansas City, Missouri today. Estate sales, some thrifting, and who knows what else we may get into. Come along with us while we do some shopping. Our first stop was an estate sale. I don't do a lot of estate sailing. I get a little overwhelmed with the amount of people inside of the houses and this one was very full. We got there about 30 minutes after they opened. When we walked in, there was already a huge line for checkout. So definitely missed some things, but I found a few good items. Prices were a little high, like this bunny was $5. I loved him so much. I probably should have got him, but a little sticker shock first walking in the door. I did pick up a couple of these bobbins. They were a good price. Definitely able to resell those and make some profit. The Christmas items were definitely already picked over. I found a set of cute little figurine mice and that was about it. Moving on to the kitchen, you know me, I'm going for all of the cute little random kin kitchen utensils. Oh, they have this exact one that they get when you get It is cute. It was way too expensive at both places. I really liked this little hand broom, but then I realized they wanted to sell the whole box together and I wasn't interested in the other items. You. Oh my gosh. Grab me all of those berry baskets. Thank you. Not the plastic one. Is there just one plastic? Oh yeah. These claw feet were absolutely amazing. They look amazing on a project, but I looked at the bottom and I'm not really sure how to attach them properly. So I went ahead and left them for somebody who could love them a little better than me. the second time I have found one of these enamel pitchers. The last one was white and blue. This one is white and black. Super exciting. And I got my little basket here ready to check out and now we are going to move on to some thrift stores. He's a conductor on the Rock Ireland Railroad. All right, y'all, we hit seven different thrift stores. I'm going to try to remember what's what, but I can't make any promises. First stop is Turnstiles Mission. This location is on Martway Road in Mission, Kansas. And unfortunately, the shelves were very bare. We did not find much at all, but let's take a peek. If it would have been closer to Christmas, I probably would have picked up the rusty jingle bells, but I just didn't feel like messing with them right now. It's a basket. Oh, you, you know what I would do? I would just take it apart and call them duck cutting boards. That's what I would do. Oh, I know. <laughs> so Turn it around. Let me see. Looks like I only got about five items from this store. I was obsessing over the crock, but I found one the next day for $80 with the wood handles. I'm glad I passed. Next up, let's hit a Goodwill. Do you guys do a tag color anymore? Uh, yeah, this week it's pink. Pink? Yep. Half off? Yep. Sweet, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See the tiny minis to get out of your way. I see him like move, move. 
I almost passed on this basket for $8, but then I realized inside were three bundles of dried wheat plus a mini broom. So I'm actually getting four items for $8. I went ahead and grabbed it. I had picked up this horse. When I got to check out, I realized it was broken in several places. So I went ahead and passed at the register. I would have put <laughs> I don't know. No clue. I love these decorative wall pieces. They're so pretty painted. This one was ten dollars though and they're heavy, so I have to charge a bit more for them and consider shipping. Went ahead and passed on it today because I knew we had many stores ahead of us still. Tags. I don't know why I took the small part of the cart. <laughs> Questionable on my behalf here. I noticed they all started lotting things together, wooden spoons, and marking them as sets. Just super irritating. <laughs> Ooh. Ding. This four dollars is kind of pretty. Y'all, no full cart day here. I only found five items at this Goodwill. I spent about $14 at Turnstiles. I spent about $20 at this Goodwill. Let's go try a Savers. I noticed immediately when we walked into this Savers, the shelves were super empty. Usually these are so full you can hardly process things. Like you can't even reach things without almost knocking something over so I don't know if they were clearing shelves bringing out new inventory but most of these figurines that were on the shelf were all chipped and broken and super overpriced not cool savers This is the second Savers location. When we walk in, you'll see these shelves look a lot better. And right away, Alyssa found those adorable felt rabbits, but they weren't plastic. They were like heavy metal covered in felt. Absolutely gorgeous. She is pretty competitive when we're shopping, so I have to be fast. <laughs> Bunnies. I need to find some sheep. Oh, that one's weird. It has like feel it. Mm. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to feel it. Ooh, cast iron birds. Look at the tiny head on this primitive rabbit. I was cracking up. Look how cute this little brass bus is. You can put all your little kids' pictures. <laughs> well, I had so many clips of us laughing ridiculously. I apologize. So Alyssa really liked these fans and she didn't want to get them. So she wanted me to get them. I thought about it. I ended up putting them back at checkout. Drop me a comment. Should I have picked those unique fans up? I'm pretty obsessed with mini chairs and they usually sell well for me. Those were a little more boho style and while I loved them, I wasn't sure if they would move and they were a little pricey. <laughs> Alyssa found this McCoy pottery piece she was excited about.
these super unique brass candlesticks right off the cart before anybody else had a chance to see them. Wow! What are those? Are they plant holders? Oh, I think we need those. Yeah. I want to show them. Oh, I'm going to get yelled at though. Watch. I loved these so much, they would have been a nightmare to ship. I left them behind. Are y'all gonna yell at me? It's only $14. It's kind of... Well, that's only a $14 predicament. I love... Yeah. I love that word. No! <laughs> that's my favorite. I say sweet. What are under the dead hammers? Alright, what's the $14 problem? Um, it would look so pretty milk painted. <laughs> Houston, we have the problem. Oh, look at those freaking tables. Those are so ugly. But the, look at the chunks of wood on them. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking you, you just chop them apart. Yeah, not, not, not quite look worth it. I know, the little baby ones. I, I mean, I could probably sell these for like $20 a piece, but there were more. But then I have to cut it apart. That's just a lot of work. Ugh. <laughs> It might be locked forever. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's a TV thing. <laughs> well, you know. Hood, hood stinks. I thought it was older. <laughs> Next up is Hillcrest Thrift. This is where I found that amazing luggage rack a long time ago. It's been a few months, but Half off yellow, I always say. think I'm going to find another gym at this store didn't end up finding much but I'm glad because we went to so many places today if I would have had a full cart at each place it would have been bad news <laughs> Rack was labeled wood thing, which made me laugh pretty hard. Yes, please. 15, oh, it's 15. Oops. I've sold one before. I'm trying to remember how much. Uh, 15. For reals. Oh, the mushies! What a squirrel hiding in there. Oh my god, it's like a little fairy cottage. There's a bunny. Oof. A baby rolling pen. You probably don't want anything for it, hardly. Ten, nine dollars. Oh my god, these... Are the prices good? You don't even know. Oh, that's not bad at all. Y'all, next time we do this, I will be sure to get a shot of my cart at checkout at each store. So I apologize about that, but it was a very full day of filming and <laughs> us being crazy. And I guess I just spaced it, but I will have my Saturday morning live haul, like always, over on my main channel, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's actually here in just a few hours. So y'all can come over and see everything that I ended up picking up. were sheep at first and then I realized they were lions but that was like a concrete piece it was really cool oh, yeah it's that's not wood though I thought it was wood ha <laughs> <laughs> pig out
Alright y'all, leave me a comment, let me know why were these baking pans divided like that with wood? I ended up getting them because they were cool, but I don't know why. Absolutely loved the batter and syrup dispensers. I've never seen these before. The syrup was missing its lid. That's the only reason I didn't get them. I did try to look them up and I couldn't find anything on them, but they were so cute. That's amazing. Oh, that's even. That's even. We decided to stop by the Metcalf Antique Mall, which I've never been to before. And of course I knew prices were gonna be antique mall prices, but we wanted to go look around. I ended up finding two things here for a great price and found some really cool boots. So if you guys are ever in the area, check out the Metcalf Antique Mall for sure. Oh, that's a good price on that. You know, reasonable. Reasonable. Ooh, these are good prices on these pastels. Ooh. It's crazy. There's so many of them. Kind of obsessed with these. We probably should tell them. Is there a booth number over there? I'll go. I can look. That is a good price. That's a. Oh, I can't see. Oh, eighty-eight. Gorgeous. I I love the shelves with the shoes, the shoe forms. Isn't that a cute idea? Because nobody ever knows what to do with them. And these have the extra little hooks on them. That's cute. Love. Sixty-five dollars. So many pig cutting boards. Oh, so cute. Yeah. insulator you guys never seen one they wanted over a hundred dollars for it 115 no thank you but gorgeous document that 
That is a full wow. booth. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that's a great picture, uh, price on that. I usually see brass and copper candlesticks. Our last stop is Blessings Abound. I think I actually got the most items at the store. And y'all have seen me shop here before. Prices can be a little higher in their boutique -y sections, but then they have some amazing actual thrift store prices as well. And I do believe Alyssa liked this place the best and would like to come back here. So y'all will see me here more often. Totes, that one's only eight dollars. Definitely scored on the terracotta critters today, so I am very excited about that. It's that huge flat one. Yeah. I found a couple of fresh carts and dug down to the bottom to find some really fun small pieces. I found two copper bump pans right next to each other. I've got one in my inventory already, so now I've got a set of three. Y'all look at this sea of furniture. This store is huge and it is always very full. Thanks for tagging along and shopping with us today. If you want to see the whole haul, I'll be live over on my main channel here in just a few hours. And I did do a Facebook unboxing when I brought this home, so I can drop the link in the description box below. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye, friends.